The San Diego Padres, they recently signed a reliever. His name is Eric Hanhold. So just wanted to give you a little bit of background on him. Uh, he's been with the Orioles organization. He's been with the Pittsburgh Pirates organization. Uh, he, know, he now comes to the Padres. This was on his transaction log on MLB.com. December 15th, 2022. So last month, middle of last month, the Padres, they signed free agent right-handed pitcher Eric Hanhold to a minor league contract. He was then assigned to AAA El Paso on December 21st. So he seems, just reading up on who this guy is and all that, he seems like he is a minor league depth bullpen option. He did not pitch in Major League Baseball this past year. Uh, like I mentioned, he was with the Pirates. Um, he was with the Orioles first. And he pretty much spent all of last year in AAA Indianapolis. Uh, had a 3-4-0 ERA, which isn't bad uh, in the minor leagues. 53 innings of work, had a 21.2 strikeout rate, 10.4 walk percentage. So you'd like to see the strikeouts up a little bit more, especially with the way uh, that the current pitching is. Like usually strikeout rates are higher than that. Like batters strike out more. Um, and, and the walk percentage, that's kind of what I'm more worried about. I don't want to see him walking that many guys. Uh, so th both of those rates. Those are each a bit worse than average, uh, but he did, according to baseball trade values here, uh, not not values, baseball trade rumors, um, his ground ball rate was 62.7%, which is excellent. So if he can, can, if he can find a way to walk less people, we know that he gets a lot of ground balls. So that could give him a lot of success. Like he already knows how to get guys to ground out. Uh, he's not given up. It doesn't seem like he's given up a ton of home runs. Let me double check here how many home runs he gave up last year. All of last year, in 44 outings, he gave up three home runs. So that's not a lot. 2021, he gave up uh, six home runs, and that was in much fewer games. 25 games in 2021. 44 in 2022. So find a way to decrease the walks, be more consistent inside the strike zone. And this guy could be uh, another AJ Preller steal, maybe a really good signing, uh, right? So he's probably going to get some time in spring training. You'll see him make some outings late in spring training games and see what he has. Uh, maybe Ruben Niebla can work with him or some of the development people. Uh, in the Padres organization can work with them. And maybe he's someone that comes up when injuries happen for the Padres. Like if he can consistently uh, improve his numbers and the Padres see that, okay, this guy's better than he was this past season, then they'll think about bringing him up uh, to the big league level maybe at some point in 2023. The good news is that the Padres probably – don't want to bring him up at all in 2023. It's nothing against Eric Canhold, but it's about the guys that they have in their current bullpen. The Padres, they have so much depth right now, and so if they don't see Eric Canhold, that probably means that guys stayed healthy. Hayter, Suarez, Garcia, Morajone, Tim Hill, Stephen Wilson. Uh, I already said Tim Hill. Uh, Chris Matt is still in the organization. The Lopez kid that they uh, signed, or not signed, but they brought over from the race organization in the Rule 5 draft, uh, Sean Poppin, right? There's a good amount of depth. And then Lugo and Martinez, I guess you could put in that conversation if they don't work out in the rotation. And then even before handhold, in the minors, there's guys like Ray Kerr that are still uh, in the system. And who knows if we'll see Kevin Copps at some point near the end of 2023 or whatever. He's... He went to Arkansas, won the Golden Spikes uh, award. So he, he seems like he's going to have some promise. He's been on the show before. So it, it seems like the bullpen, they are in a strong spot right now. But it doesn't hurt to add some depth. And that's pretty much what Eric Hanhold is. So this isn't a signing to you know be like hugely excited about or, or anything like that. But 
he it seems like he does have some upside uh, and he gets a lot of ground balls. So we'll see what happens with that move. Let me know in the comments what other moves you want to see the Padres make the rest of this offseason.